George, we need to start working on these damn PCs. Did someone mention the Omni Saya? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and... Wolfboy. <laughs> yes, we have Wolfboy in the shop because we are going to be working on a multi-part project, actually, and we're going to start off by, well, me, painting a PC case for our friend Chelsea, a.k.a. Stargal, which I did the uh, Crimson build for her a while back, and... We all do a series on his channel called Introducing Friends, and currently we are doing Introducing Friends to 40, Warhammer 40K. You good there? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and mainly that friend who's being introduced is me, because mm -hmm. I don't know much about it. Uh, George is basically our lore master, and Chelsea is our resident thousand son. <laughs> yeah. So, for those of you who are not familiar with 40K, would you like to give a Slight brief overview of it? Yeah, sure, uh, a little slight. In the grim dark of the far future, there is only war. And a whole bunch of other people just trying to survive. And essentially, there's all kinds of factions. And if you think of old school high fantasy with elves and dwarves and orcs and whatnot, yeah, they all got uh, spacefaring technology. They went out into the stars and they're just fighting and bombing and nuking each other to no end. And it's yeah. a fun war game. Yeah, basically. So, the Thousand Sons is the faction that Chelsea has chosen to align herself with, which is a chaos faction. And yeah. In other words, wrong. But eh, <laughs> what, what can I say? And, and it is heralded or led by uh, Magnus the Red, mm -hmm. which is, what, the Primarch, right? Yeah. Yes, he is one of the 20 Primarchs that was created by the Emperor of Mankind before the Fall and before the Horus Heresy, a.k.a. the uh, Imperium's Civil War, splitting them down the middle with Loyalists on one side, hi, and Chaos Factions on her side. Yeah, so, and we've all taken a faction in this. Uh, George has taken the Space Wolves. Woo! Duh. <laughs> <laughs> For obvious reasons. It's not that obvious. It's fairly obvious. And I myself have aligned with the Dark Angels, uh, more specifically the Raven Wings. So. Yeah, his favorite unit. Yes. So. Yes. And if you do, if you would like to learn more about uh, the Warhammer 40k series and whatnot, uh, go check out his channel where he explains a lot and trying to explain to me a lot. Well, I try. Uh, basically, we cover a lot of the fan-made series so far, and yeah. we're diving into the lore that's uh, inspired all these creations and expanding on what uh, Games Workshop is expanding with, uh, stretching back as far back as the 80s up till now. So. Yep. So, the idea for Chelsea's build is we're going to... Well, actually, I think I explained it with when I'm actually doing the build itself, because... Mm -hmm. Uh, spoiler alert, this is actually part of the future. So, yeah. <laughs> And also, as a surprise to this, um, I'm also doing his PC case as well. So, Yeah, it did come out of left field, but it worked out for all involved. Yeah, so uh, let's just go to me working on it, and then he'll give you his final thoughts on how well I did. Yep. So. Let's get started. Alright, so we are going to start on the PC builds now for Chelsea's PC and George's PC as well. I've already actually taken apart Chelsea's PC, and that is actually ready to get the first coat of primer on. Uh, I'm going to work on George's PC secondary, uh, just because it's going to be a lot easier to work on one rather than two at a time. Uh, once the primer on that one is done, I'll probably bring it inside once it's pretty much dried and start dismantling George's. Because I definitely want to get all the primer done today, because today is supposed to be like the last good day of weather. So I'm going to try and get as much of the painting done today as possible. And let's get to it. Okay, so got the chassis here, panel over there, and the front, which would go here, over there. And I'm going to be using this self. Etching primer, because that's 
What I would suppose works best on PC cases is that I have all my PC keys. Okay, let's go painting. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of voiceover work for this because the audio uh, really didn't come out all that great for this section. So this is Chelsea's PC case with the first layer of red on it. Um, I was doing very light coats. I really didn't want to oversaturate everything because I want everything to try and take as best as it can. This is the side panel. Again, very light coats on this. Uh, going back and forth, side to side, trying not to overspray. I am going to do this side as well. It's just I have not got to it yet. Uh, it's just primed right now. But I have put on the paint on the front bezel as well. And again, it took really, really good. This is the stuff I'm more used to painting. The plastic, not the metal so much. And this is the paint that I'm using, which is a Duplicolor Victory Red. I'm not sure which car brand it was, but hey, it works. Okay, so the outer coat of Chelsea's PC is done. I have to say, I really like how the red came out. It did. It does look really, really good. So I am going to let this set up and dry overnight before I do anything else to it. Because uh, I want to make sure that this is all good before I put any paint on, any tape on it. So that this way I can start doing the inside, the white. And for George's PC, the primer coat is on here. Again, since he was just getting exterior, I figured it would be easier to just honestly do it all together at this point. So, and I have everything that would lead to the inside taped off so you don't have to worry buddy and the front cover so now it's just a matter of letting this set up a bit and then I'm going to put the first exterior coat onto his and then I'll let that dry overnight so this way I can tape off for the yellow so I'll show you this one when this is done okay so this has been a very long day of painting but I have to say, everything is coming out really, really nice. Uh, this is the front grille of Chelsea's PC, and I have to say, the red looks amazing. Uh, I did tape off a few of the buttons on top, so there is that. And, I mean, I gotta say, they, again, they just, they came out really, really nice. And I really like how the red came out. The outer portion of the chassis is done. It is right over there drying, and I'm very, very happy with how it came out. So tomorrow, and or at least until it's done, is going to be painting the inside of it, which that's going to be a joy and a half, because basically everything I taped off on George's PC, I'm going to have to tape off on here, because the white's going to be the inside. I want to make sure I don't bleed out, so it's going to be fun. But speaking of George's PC... Uh, yeah, the final coat, the final outer coat is drying on it, so that will be ready hopefully tomorrow for taping off and the application of the yellow, and I have to say, this one also came out really, really nice. Uh, this blue silver that he picked out is, it's looking really, really nice. Now, unfortunately... I would have done what I did with Chelsea's panel on George's, except for the fact that, unlike Chelsea's panel, his was uh, for marking of what is what on here. It was just kind of painted on, whereas Chelsea's, it was actually imprinted into the plastic. So, 
Unfortunately, I didn't want to get that all mixed up and confused, so I unfortunately did leave the front panel just completely as is, but honestly, I think it looks, honestly, I like the little bit of black right there. It's going to look nice. Plus, I didn't paint the grill, so it will match up anyway. So, that's really where the cases stand for now. Uh, that's going to be, right now, it for this part of the paint uh, and finish and the cases. So, the next thing you're go you guys will see will be me working on the interior of Chelsea's and taping off the exterior of George's. So, you'll see that in a few minutes, but unfortunately, I have to wait till tomorrow for that. So, see you in a moment. Okay, so we're on day two of painting the PC cases. Uh, they have sat overnight, and I did a tape test already on both cases, and tape is not ruining the paint job. <laughs> Thank you, God. So... We're ready to go on to the next step of what we're adding to these. The inside of Chelsea's case, which is going to be going white, which will require me to basically tape off this, this, and here, along with part of the bottom. Uh, George's case is still not getting anything inside, but I will have to do the taping off on the side here and the top here for the yellow that will then eventually house the uh, the decals so I'm not going to show taping off Chelsea's case because there's nothing really to tape off like it's not going to be anything special I will show the painting taping off process on uh, this one because that's actually going to I have to actually design something out so that's going to be fun so I'm going to switch to the workbench so you can see the taping off of that and I'm just going to get to work on this real quick. Well, you're not going to really care about that, so. Okay, so here I have the side panel for Chelsea's PC. That will be getting the decal on it. Uh, this is just my little note so that I know that is up. Uh, the decal for her logo is going to go dead center as possible I can. What we're also going to be doing, and this is going to be applied after I do the clear coat on everything, because I'm going to put the decal on first and then do the clear coat. Uh, same thing with the top of her PC. That just needs to wait until everything is finished drying from the internal uh, painting, and I start pulling off all that tape. But the other thing that's going to be going on Chelsea's PC is going to be this. Now, what this is, it is a purity seal that Astartes put on their armors but we of course had to do it with Chelsea in mind so since she follows the thousand suns and Magnus we decided to go with the chaos symbol here because you know she is our uh, queen of chaos and also the text here on the scroll along with the logo here is from Zinj which is one of the four chaos gods uh, this actually came to me from Russia and from an Etsy shop, and I have to say, oh my god, the quality on this is freaking amazing. The text here looks so good, along with the uh, Zinch symbol there. The detail on the actual seal itself is wonderful. Uh, it didn't actually come gold. I actually did the gold painting on it so it kind of better matches because these are normally red and against that it would have just looked too it would have blended in and I we didn't want that so this is about where the seal is going to go so I'm going to put a piece of tape there so this way that doesn't get clear coated because I'm going to use some E6000 uh, to make sure that this goes on and stays on but again, I'm going to do that afterwards because I don't want this obviously clear-coated clear because, uh, again, oh my god. And also this material is, it's a faux leather. 
I mean, that's that's amazing. And this honestly only cost me 10 bucks. It took about two months to get to me, but oh my God, it was so worth it. It was so worth it. So let's try and get this on and figure out where center is. So. I think that's about center. Yeah, because it looks like all the corners are lining up as well. So that's about center. So you so use some canvas tape to hold it in place. No, that was a little bit of overkill, but that's fine. Whatever. What did we do? Oh, there we go. I'm just this to smooth it out. So. Moment of truth. Come on. Now, come on, come on, stay down, stay down, stay down. Halfway through. Oh. God, that looks so good. Oh. Oh, that looks amazingly awesome. And hopefully the clear coat will actually help make sure it does stay down and doesn't pop up. But, oh. Oh, I, I am so happy with that. I am so freaking happy with that. So now all I need to do is figure out a piece of tape about the size that I'll need for this. Just do a small fold over. And then, oh, 
Oh my god, this is looking so good. I am so happy with this right now. So. Let's see what covers the tape. I may have to do a little bit of corner peeling or corner trimming. Yep, and that's fully covered. Oh my god, it looks so good! Alright, so this is what the side of Chelsea's case is going to look like. And I'm I'm so ecstatic about it. It, it came out as good as we thought it was going as It came out exactly how I pictured it, which I'm very happy with. So I'm going to stop rambling because I sound like a freaking idiot right now. And I'm going to go get this outside and pull the tape off of Chelsea's PC so I can get everything clear coated oh, take that off this i don't need that clear coated so yeah okay so we got another little voiceover portion here uh this is george's pc with the taped off areas for the yellow it took me a while to actually figure out the patterns on this the side is just the diamond but the part that went on top is supposed to kind of resemble the pauldron for the actual Stardis armor where the smaller of the logos will go the larger one will go on the side here obviously I still need a few more coats to do and I'm gonna be getting to that now okay so the paint on George's PC is for the most part done uh, there are a couple there's a little bit of touch-up that I do have to do unfortunately the diamond on the side came out beautifully the pauldron setup on the top came out well it finally came out uh, there was some bleed through around the edges and I did try and touch that up but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe have to tape around that edge and just kind of re uh, paint it off with the whatever the hell blue it was the Avagon blue metallic one uh, I'm just gonna call it space wolf blue so the Space Wolf Blue will have to just get that little bit of touch-up done. But once that's done, I'll be able to get the decals on, uh, both the side and the top. And then I'll be able to clear coat his, and then the, that PC case will be done as well. So, and here is Chelsea's, along with the emblem now attached. Or, the, I'm sorry, the Purity Seal now attached. Uh, so I'm going to call it a day there, and hopefully this will be, hopefully the cases themselves will be finished up tomorrow. Okay, so we're starting day three, and George's case is almost done. The yellow took very nicely. I just have to do a little bit of touch up right around the top there. Um, thankfully the diamond is perfect. So what I'll do is I'm going to put the decals on first, do the touch-ups, and then it's just going to be a straight uh, clear coat with that acrylic lacquer that I put on Chelsea's PC. And then the cases will be done at least on my end of it. So there we go with those. I'll show you these when they're done and then me and George will give you our final thoughts on it, or he'll give you your thoughts on it, on it, since these are kind of his ideas, but anyway, you, you follow where I'm going with it. Okay, so the cases are finally done. Uh, Chelsea's and George's, I have to say, came out really, really nice. Um, I have to say for myself, not too damn shabby for someone who's never painted a PC case before, uh, but yes, I am very happy with how they came out. The red on Chelsea's and then the white interior came out really 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 well the decals look amazing with the gold right against the red and the purity seal looks just so good on there the then George's the blue silver he chose 
really does match well to the Astartes armor, I have to say. And then the yellow, like, on the pauldrons just pops so nice against it. And then the black Space Wolves uh, logo is just, it looks so good. And I'm really happy with how they came out. So, now we're going to go over to me and George with George giving you his thoughts on this and what else is left in this series. So, see you in a moment. All right, so you already got my thoughts on how these came out, so what do you think? I kind of want to cry. This is a beautiful <laughs> tribute to the Black Man Clan. It's great. I absolutely love it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but this is great. I love it. Actually, they both came out fantastic, dude. This, this is just... I'm at a loss of just how great it turned out. And honestly, I think... Pretty much everyone can agree. <laughs> well, I, I, like I said, not bad for someone who's never played a PC case before. So, first time, and we were yeah. able to knock it out of the park, as far as I can see. Yeah, I, I, again, I'm really happy with how they came out. The, honestly, when I originally was coming up with the design for yours, mm -hmm. I really was kind of hesitant on it. Like, how well is this actually going to look? And I have to say, it, it to me, it looks absolutely fantastic. This is something that I can easily picture being on a Space Marine's armor for the Space Wolves. So, yeah. honestly, this is fantastic as far as I can... I, I, I really have no critiques counter to it. Well, I guess that's that then. So, that's going to be it for uh, this video. But we will have more in this PC build series because we still have the Magnus model that we are going to be putting into Chelsea's as kind of a little surprise... Um, but yeah, and that will be worked on by, uh, myself and Arlene, and George will actually be doing another part, which will be over on his channel, of him actually completing the PC builds themselves, so. Yep, this is gonna be my tribute to the Omnisaya and all the tech spirits that come There you go, it. well, you already pulled that off in the beginning. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep, gotta keep it up. So. I'm only I, gonna request one thing. What? Do you have a lot of incense on hand? I have scented candles. I'll make it work. Okay. So, and again, thank you again to uh, Nerdy Girl Empire for the wonderful, wonderful work on the decals for these things. Uh, again, uh, links to her Etsy shop will be down in the description below as well, along with uh, George's channel as well, and also probably in the end card as, you know, towards the end. So... Thank you all for joining us for this episode, and if you enjoyed the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know how you thought I did with these, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me, Arlene, and well, now this guy, are doing sillinesses over on our channels. So, yep. again, thank you very much for joining us, we'll see you guys next time. Later! Stay awesome as always, guys.